we're gonna take out all of our screws on each corner of the device. second one, third and fourth. The other two are on the bottom of the waste gate actuated. Then take out the second screw. All right, the third one. Fourth one, it's hard, but it's in there again. It uses a flat, um, me use a Phillips regular screwdriver. I don't, I didn't take my manifold off, so, but I still not got like a screw drop. All right, take out your clip. You just kind of jiggle it up, rotate it, and push it out. That's your clip. Then push your arm in and it should come out. I might have to kind of do a little prying with it. Not nothing too hard though. So you slide that arm. You slide it in and you push this little arm out slightly out, slightly out, nothing too crazy. Once you got the fourth screw, so there should be four screws on the clip. Your actuator has some movement. All right, now you gotta break it free from the clip. There we go. Old actuator. That's the old one. And here's the new one. Hold and inspect. Make sure you got the same part because the dealer is messed up. And we in there. And just reverse the method. You gotta make sure the tightness on this is, is very taut. You don't want it loose because it'd be jingling in there. Right? And also, you wanna make sure you have enough clearance when you open up the valve for the blow off valve to release the pressure that won't send it to the turbo. That's all what this does. It opens it up so then it escapes out the side and it won't go into the turbo. Sometimes your codes will clear by themselves. See the startup. Sometimes you have to clear it from underneath the dash. You can see it. But we're listening for that blow off out. And that's how you fix your wastegate actuator.